So, how do you do it? Well, let me tell you. There's a fairly well understood uh, sales process. This is for the professional selling. It's also consult, uh, consultative selling, need satisfaction selling. I think there's other terms for it too. But most professional selling systems will use a approach similar to this where you start out with prospecting, then you have a pre-approach, you have an approach, you make your presentation, you have a close, and there's follow-up. Okay. Oh, did I really write this? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, this is great stuff here. <laughs> Could you get any triter? <laughs> the effort that you put into each stage depends on how much is at risk at each stage. <coughs> <coughs> um, and then just to put it in perspective for life skills, a job interview is a sales call, right? Um, and maybe if we think about as we go through this process what it might look like in a job interview, um, it, just to, to connect it to something that all of you will be doing very soon. Um, yeah. First stage is prospecting. And that's the goal of the prospecting stage is to identify qualified prospects. Um, a prospect is a prospective customer. Um, and there's really two, um, two elements to the qualification process. One, does the potential customer see a benefit in your product? And then the second is does the customer have the ability and the readiness to buy the product? So how, how ready are they to buy? And once you've identified the people who you think might be good leads for your, or good prospects for your product, then you want to create an opportunity to have a selling situation. Um, and how do you identify leads? How do you get prospects? Um, um, in business-to-business, -business, trade shows are very popular. Um, this is where keyword advertising can come in. Um, we'll talk later in the um, semester about automated marketing and the sales funnel, um, which is uh, an, uh, sort of an, it's an automated marketing approach where you identify prospective customers based on interest in things that you put out on the web and then you develop a relationship with them online and then based on how responsive they are to things that you send out to them, uh, determine how likely they are to be ready to buy and turn them into leads. <coughs>